Let the people hear that voice. Damn, right. when you hear that name. It was a proud moment for, for the Asian culture. I just looked in the mirror and I accepted myself. Yes. <laughs> Please, I beg you cut it out. Welcome to Brit Asia TV's Behind the Music. I'm really excited to have this next guest on the show. He goes by the name of Mumsy Stranger or SP. Uh, he's a British rapper, singer, songwriter, producer, known for his distinctive R&B, soulful, bashment style. He's won plenty of awards. It just goes, you know, the list is endless. Welcome to the show, bro. How you doing? Peace out, my bro. Peace out, you're right, yeah? Your accolades, it's like, I can, I can keep going. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It, it, listen, I, I can't keep up myself, man, honestly. You've, it's mad. You've had like, an incredible career, bro. Like such a long career. Now, thank you, bro. Like, let's take it back from the start. Like, I remember, I remember when I first met you, bro. Like, I, I don't know if you remember this, but it was at a, it was at a Mela. Uh, it was before I was signed, and and I came up to you and I was like, hey, bro, I really like your music, and you were really cool. I do remember. Yeah, you remember, remember. You remember it, bro. I was, I think I was, I was in a a, a, a band with um, my cousin. And we were just we were just there, and you were like the headline act, and you were, I, I just said hello to you, and you you was just a nice person, bro. And I remember going back, and I said to my my cousin, I was like, this guy, he's gonna be big, you know. And you just came that, across bro. as humble as well. How did you get into music, bro? Um, do you know what? It's it's crazy, man. It's like I, I tell everyone, it's it's just one of them things, you know. Like obviously, there's two two ways of getting into music. Either your family's in it, and it's inherited. And you have that musical, you know, like connection and etc. Right. But with me, it was nothing like that, bro. Like literally, um, I love music, obviously, um, and it's my siblings. So obviously, growing up in East London, uh, Plasto, I was surrounded, surrounded by music. And um, my older brother, a lot of people don't know this, he used to DJ with Page Ago, wow. um, on Rinse FM. And, you know, he had a big, big connection, like him, him and Wiley, DJ Stingsy, they were all friends uh, growing up. And um, they used to DJ, and I think it was like Jungle Garage at that time. And um, I used to just go and like, you know, like knock on the door and hear what's going on in his room and stuff. And I used to pick up so many things just from their collection of music, uh, my older brothers especially. And they were all listening to different things. So for me, it was more about like, oh, that sounds good. Oh. What's that? You know, like right. So you got and, influenced and it, by, it. yeah. I was interested, you know, yeah, like and yeah. me getting into music, bro. Like I have no idea, bro. I just think it's all imitation and the gift in it. Like if, yeah, you, if you if you could do something, you start doing it more, and then you just become better at it. So for me, it was literally that. But I had no like no one to kind of like come and say, yo, there's a keyboard and learn how to play this. You know, like it was yeah, nothing like yeah, that. Yeah. So how did you how did you get like noticed? Because you come from an era where you know there wasn't really like all the social media platforms and you know YouTube was kind of just starting out. MySpace as well. Like, did you throw your records out there? And is, is that how you got noticed? And like, how did you get? Because you worked with a, you know Rishi, obviously. Um, yeah. How how did that come about? To be honest, bro. Like earlier days from Rishi from before, it was all like pirate radio stations. Wow, for me, okay. but um, I used to like work with um, Nasty Crew, Marcus Nasty, all these guys. They were like my friends, Forming, wow. bless him, yeah. Gets, all my boys. Like th this was my upbringing. It was like uh, that was more how I started in the music, and then eventually um, it was MySpace. It was like I think it was MySpace. That was the first site where I kind of like, okay, hold on, what's this man like? And I uploaded Get to Know, one of my songs I did at that time. I remember that and, song. Yeah, I was in school, yeah. I used to actually <laughs> play that on MySpace. Bro, it was mad. And I, think I it just want to get to know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you remember it? I remember it. It hit like a million streams in like wow. a month. So yeah. I was like, yo, what's this? And and for me, obviously, them numbers were like, we don't, we're not used to that kind of stuff. Of course. But it was, it was MySpace and then eventually leading on to, um, you know, Rishi in 2005. I think that's when things really started. Is that where he discovered you then with the with the like you know with the song becoming quite you know big in numbers in on MySpace? Is that where he kind of like come across your music? Bro, do you know what? It wasn't even that. Like I think that audience was different. That was like an online audience that 
and people didn't know what I looked like. It was just music. You know, no <laughs> yeah. one, as far as they know, it's just a guy who's singing. It was nothing right, like that. Right, if I had right. no photo shoots then, are you mad? Yeah. It was none of that. <laughs> yeah. But I had some, I had some stretch side partying all the way there, up to there. So it was that. Wow. It was nothing like, bro, it was more like, it was a demo that my, one of my friends, right. he was like a big Bhangra, you know, like Bhangra fan. Yeah. Um, I love Bollywood since young, so I've always listened to Bollywood. Mm. Uh, I think everyone has. Um, but Bhangra wasn't something I was into. One of my boys was like, yo, um, he got some music stuff from my studio without telling me he sent it to Asian Network. And then as soon as he sent it to them, I got a phone call. Then, oh, yeah, you've been um, selected for this competition, BBC Unsung. And I'm like, bro, what are you doing, man? You know what wow. I mean? I was like, I was confused. And I got selected and Rishi was one of the judges. So that's how I met him. Oh, okay. Wow. That's how I met him. Yeah. So I, I didn't win the competition, but I was like at an after party and there were so many people there, like Juggy, all the crew, all their movement, Richard Project, everyone was them. I was like, yo, like this is strange. I've never met the Asian scene like this ever in my life. So I didn't, I didn't even realize there was like a platform like that. So it was a, it was a huge entry. And then from, from there, you started obviously working with Rishi and then you started releasing your own singles. And I think you were yeah. one of the first British Bangladeshi artists to be hitting mm. that mainstream side with, you know, with your releases with um, Come Fly With Me. And you know, all these records that you had, it was, you know, you yeah. even had a CD, like, like, you know, we don't make, they don't do CDs anymore, <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like you was it's one of the first, like looking back in that, that, that era, like was that, is that like a blur to you or do you remember it like really clear? Like what was the feeling going through you? You know what? I remember everything from you. You know what it is? It's 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 weird because we're we're in the generation where we went analog to digital. So and it was it was obviously cassettes, <coughs> sorry, vinyl, cassettes, CDs. Um you're right, there was CDs at the time. There wasn't no streaming in right. that in that situation, there was no streaming, so I remember everything, bro, like doing a photo shoot with the CD covers. And obviously that, bro, that transition was exciting because you, you you felt it more than visually seeing it on your mobile phone. Yeah, of course. I feel at that time, there wasn't like a huge internet connection with, with <laughs> musicians and bands. Yeah. You had to go to the shows. You had to do CD signings. You know, I did a CD signing in HMV, um, MTV Bass. I did so many. Wow. I did Loose Swimming, GMTV, National Lottery. Yeah. There were so many things that it was just too much. Like it was coming like that, you know, and um, it was exciting. And, and, and I do remember it because moments you remember, unfortunately, when it comes to like digital presence now, you get lost in it. So right, right. kind of like we, yeah. were, we were like from digital, sorry, from analog to digital. And I feel like for me, that part of my life, I remember more. Then, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, what comes at me now because it's coming quick at the moment. So, but now, nah, man, honestly, like I said, I, I could I could be here all day talking about it. But for me, it was obviously a huge, huge um, breakthrough when I got a chance to do Desi music as well as R and B and dancehall. For me, that that two them two connections, I'm quite happy and privileged to be. I'm lucky, bro. I'm lucky to have crossed the, the paths of both scenes. You did it early on, this whole fusion thing, and. Is that something that you 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 was like happy to do at that time, being you know a massive bashman and R and B head? Was that an easy transition to to go from you know that style of music to? No, it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't because yeah. it wasn't because you know it is. I love R and B and I love um, dancehall music and I love garage. If anyone knows garage music, that's that was what I grew up with as well. And for me, when obviously when I went to Russia and I heard mad beats and mad productions and melodies and stuff like that. I was like, yo, this is interesting. And obviously the Bengali Desi side of me, it wasn't it wasn't new as in like I'm used to it. I watch Bollywood films and stuff. So but the whole kind of like uh process of it was quite cool. And I think it brought something else out of me. And you know, like I said, in, in the introduction to Bangra music, Desi music, I think if I missed that wave, I don't know if I would have still kept on doing music um, and a lot of artists don't understand when I say that like I feel that Desi music fine everyone can say oh it's, it's this and I want to go mainstream but yeah you know, what is mainstream that like, for me I, I, that kind of saved me being in a Desi music and being doing what I'm doing now merged together that's how I've become who I am so 
I'm quite thankful to be honest. I don't know if I would have carried on music if I didn't get that mainstream number one. One thing I really like admire about you, Mumsy, is that you actually bring in new talent. Not many artists can say they they've done that, you know. And I feel like yeah. you've done that so well when you bring them in. You put their talent out there to the world. How is that process of finding uh, new? What do you look for? Like, you know, how how did you find the the, the artists that you have signed in the past? Do you know what? It's such, a, such an interesting question that you're asking me because. I've never, I've never found them. They found me. All oh, right. It's, it's, it's hard to like, because I'm not a record label. I'm, at the end of the day, I'm a production house, Stranger Productions, SP, and um, we have a management. But all of that, all of that's more for me. You know, like it's for Mumsy to go and do what he, what he does best. You know, like, but for me, it's always been like I've got my ears open all the time. I meet people in the maddest places, you know, and I've met people locally. And when I hear talent, like. I can't step away, you know. So some people I've bumped into, some people have hit me up. You know, it's always been because you gotta understand it's a label and an A and R's job to go and find talent. Right. You know, for me, it's it, we just happen to get creative. You know, same way kind of we met. If that makes sense. We, 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 you know, we didn't meet each other in a way where oh, you've got an appointment with Janae Mir. You know, like it was. It was friend, friends, kind of, friendship yeah, yeah. and brotherhood like, and like, oh yeah, come studio, you know, yeah, like, yeah, definitely. And, and for me, bro, like, it's always happened like that. And I've always tried to help people because I just know how it feels not to get that help, you know, from, from being younger and obviously get help as well. I can't say that I haven't had help because that's not yeah. correct. I've, I've had a lot of help, but I don't know, bro. I just think it's a connection that I just have and I enjoy it. And I'm happy, man, to see so many artists out there. But bro, I'll tell you one thing. It's hard to <laughs> handle imagine. personality. Right. Yeah. Right. It's almost like you've got like loads of little brothers and sisters and you know, people fight, people argue, and, and no matter what when one of them gets in trouble, you get in trouble. You get dragged into things. So I ain't gonna lie, man. It's kinda like an unconditional management thing, you know, like right, right, right. it's it's not easy. It's not easy. But I'm happy when it's successful. Yeah. I'm proud. Yeah. I'm happy. So That's the thing. Um, you're, you're giving opportunities uh, to people that, you know, might not have got that opportunity, you know? And yeah. like, do, do you vocal produce them? You do everything, right? When you when you take someone under your wing, you actually, you help develop the writing. You develop yeah. like their sound, their style, even to the way that, that what they wear, to the music videos. Is that what you do as well? You know, when you, when you co-sign someone? Definitely, bro. Like from the melodies, from the you know mentoring the sound you know just but I don't I don't I'm not I'm not a bully man you know like some people tell you what to do and they they, they I'm, I'm not that guy like I'm not, I'm not here to you know co-sign or yeah bro like it would be nice to be involved in someone's development and business side of things but it's never been my intention to bully artists into you know being something for me I'll look at you and I'm like yo I like that about you, you should work on that or yo your voice sounds better if it's smooth you know like yeah, yeah, yeah or if you sing sweeter yeah you know just on that side of it bro 110 percent. you know but no matter what happens the talent is you like, you have to be comfortable in your area so it's a, it's a fun process man great man um like also you've all uh you collabed with a lot of people as well who would you say has been one of the collabs that you've you know you've done that has inspired you a lot would you say like out of all the collabs that you mean you've done a lot <laughs> So, bro, it's so it's so difficult. But um, you know, I think from from working, you know, back in the day, obviously, I'll just say what's what I re I'll tell you about my exciting times in the studio. You know, like I think that might break it down. Obviously, working with Rishi was always great because he's just crazy in the studio. He just does what he wants. You know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. He breaks the rules. Um, I've always loved working with Rishi, and even Alan was in that department. We've had some great times in you know the earlier stages of development. Um, moving away from that, I think I always love working with H. H Darmy because he's that my is that my partner in rhymes. Because you, know, you like both when, got signed at the same time, right? You can't like yeah yeah, 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 yeah. You have history there. In the best scene, definitely. Like, yeah. but I just think when me and him work together, it's like quick, quick in and out. We know what we're doing. Go and do the video shoot. We know what we're doing. Like, we just have a lot of fun on stage, and there's. There's a good connection, and I think just coming to the to the um, 
newer newer side of uh, uh, music. You know, I think it was really fun working with First Man, um, Juggy, H, Rax, everyone on one record with Harry and B, uh, because it was different. It was like um, it wasn't like the UK way or the way we work. You know, it was flying out, songwriting with people in Holland, different producers. We were done about like twenty-one songs in four days. Oh wow! And there was about seven producers. We were right, like and it's not camp, like I haven't yeah. done that before, but not in that format. Right. Like, well, well, all was, the artists, you mean, together in the in the writing? Camp. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So it was so like it was you guys cool, put man. In work. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you guys put in work. Like that's yeah. Insane. Bro, do you know what was fun about yeah. it? That obviously the the fun part was obviously first man's got his own compound, but it was nice that we just did it in three days and we moved studio to studio, and we just. We didn't think we were just working, 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 you know, and um, that was quite a cool experience. But just coming to now, I think what inspires me the most is people like, the, you know, the young talent, Lion, Nish, bruv, you. I'm looking at all of you lot. You know, who did I meet over the weekend? Selena Sharma. She's dope. Yeah. Crazy talent. Like, Amazing voice, I'm looking yeah. at you guys now and I'm thinking, yo, Mickey, Mickey, you know. All of these guys, Arjun, everyone, okay, okay, Arjun's been around for a little while, but I still think Nikki, Arjun, you guys are still in the same category. And I look at you guys and I think, okay, all right, let me let me put my shoes on now. You know, like, <laughs> yeah. it's, 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 it's you guys that are bringing the scene together. And for me, bro, that's exciting. And, and that's what makes me want to keep carrying on doing music. I want to collaborate with you guys. I want to work with you guys. The, the way I see it, bro, if there's no scene and there's no movement, there's no point. You know, like, it's it's a very mate. difficult challenge as it is. But I think when you work together, mate, get out of the way. <laughs> I so think, like, right now, yeah. but look at even Asia. Everyone's just it's evolving, you know, it's becoming yeah. bigger, becoming better, mm. you know. And I think that's what we needed, man. And 2020, yeah. 2021, sorry, now, 2020 is like a myth. Yeah, 2021 should be... Um, <laughs> Obviously, but I think I think you understand where I'm going with this. Yeah, definitely. Like, I feel like it is so important for even artists to collaborate. You know, I think it's so important because you know what, other very. like mainstream artists they always do that, and I feel like with our scene especially, it's, some people get reluctant to do that. So I think hundred percent you do that really well with other artists, and the, the way you do your collabs, they sound like they weren't forced as well. You know, <laughs> when you hear the song. Bro. If you look at look at look look at Drake, yeah, Drake yeah. doesn't need to be tracked with right. anyone. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, he re he really doesn't, right? But he's not looking at five thousand followers. He's not looking at ten thousand followers. He's looking, seeing, yo, this is hot. You know, I I want to be a part of this. You know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. He's, he's a good example. I think he's a great example. Definitely. You know, at the end of the day, bro, he's up there. You yeah. know, yeah, yeah. And my thing is, right now, it's we need to like just erase numbers for a minute. Mm and just, just make oh, music. Really music and yeah. I know it's not as simple as that but believe me man the results to erasing that out of your mind is big you know even, even what Bangles did was huge you know I rate him for that because he didn't forget his roots and I've worked with Bangles before and I know that it was difficult for him to come up where he is and, and honestly genuinely I can say that right now anyone who's trying to bring it all together hopefully is in the right path Collaboration is the one. I don't, you know, I, I'm with that all day long. Uh, talking about collaborations, would you, is there, a, is there an artist that you haven't worked with that you'd like to work with, Desi or Mainstream? Um, definitely, bro. Like, um, you know, Mainstream is always far-fetched, isn't it? You know, but um, I, 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 I love <laughs> David though. Yeah. Yeah, I love David though. I love He's, all of these yeah. artists. Yeah. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm all about that. Uh, in our scene, I'd love to work with Mickey. I'd love to work with, as many people as I can, like, you know, I want to get in studio with you, bro. So let's see. I'm down, bro. You know I can mean? hear you on a song with Mickey, actually. You guys have got a cool yeah, vibe man. like that, yeah. So I'm dumb. down. Um, and as an artist, like, what's how do you keep the motivation? Like, what's helped you? So, um, because you've had a long you career, <laughs> you know, it's my family, bro. Like, yeah. you know, family, my friends, you know, my friends, my family. Everyone that supports me, like I'm quite lucky, bro. Like, I'm not in a lonely corner where I don't have no one, you know? Yeah. I've got people supporting me. Artists have always showed love, you know? Um, I don't think about the minority. You know, for me, I accept the majority and I hope the minority change. 
you know life isn't perfect i don't let i don't let uh online social stuff get to me ever you know i wake up in the morning and i think okay how am i gonna eat my breakfast without stressing about who's messaging me like yeah. i'm not interested in i'm not interested in that i want i want to have a nice day positive week and the way i see it man i want to i want to push as many people in the right way and i want people to push me man i don't give up on me you know them ones wow like, what you were saying is so deep bro i'm feeling what I you're saying so me, like. I'm, I'm still an artist isn't it like, yeah, i, I yeah. might want to stop but yeah. i need everyone to support me yeah. give, don't give up on me i'm yeah. not perfect bro like i want to work with as many people and many artists as yeah, i want yeah, as well yeah. right now so it's wow. just like that right So, so what's next then? Are we expecting a follow up? Like what what's what's happening now? Um, at the moment, so there are a lot of collaborations. Mm. Um, I've just done a track with Arjun, so I'm on Arjun's next one. So it's Arjun mm. featuring me. Um, I ha I've had Kanika in the studio. Um, got, I've got loads of records with other people, um, and I've started my EP. So hopefully, nice. I should have some music drop in in the next month or so. Um, but yeah, bro, I'm just, you know what it is? We're just back at making music. Yeah. I think everyone's just coming out of that whole, you know, you know, being COVID mad, just out of that and just slowly getting back to the procedure of working and making music. So hopefully we should get some tunes out. Can we maybe hear some something exclusive from you right now or? <laughs> yeah, why not? Do you know what? I'll, I'll, play you, I'll play you something which is a little bit more down your alley. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is proper exclusive. But yes, can... I've got an exclusive on the show. Tax called excuses. Excuses are just a reason. We gotta carry on leaving. Has to be here. Life isn't fair. Every day your words are repeated, reminding me how we were leaving. Has to be here. Yes, <laughs> exclusive right there, the bro. That's the melodies. Yeah. Everything is dope, man. Is this gonna be on your EP then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. It's That's the first, definitely the first track I've done. So wow. Just, I produced that myself as well. All of right, that. Right. So, yeah, I just felt like just being a little bit like you know, emotional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moment. It's sounding great, man. I love the melody, everything. Like that's definitely, I can see myself like, you know, even singing I knew, it. <laughs> I knew you'd like it. <laughs> but yeah, I, knew, um, uh, I, I wanted to actually ask you, um, how do you stay so consistent, bro? Because you have, you've probably got so many tracks out there that you can probably have like five greatest hits. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So how do you stay so consistent? Cause you know, like there's so many artists that we've seen that come and go, maybe just like, release one song, two songs, and then they just disappear. How do you, how do you keep that, you know, going? Like, what, what's the... You know what, bro? Um, I just think, like I said, I'm lucky because I have a good team. And yeah. I give credit to the team. Because, you know, sometimes, bro, like a professional can let you down. Yeah. You know, a record label can let you down. Um, someone who's putting money into your project can let you down. You know, like, everyone can let you down, but you know your team, actually believes in you they won't ever let you down you know and i'm surrounded by people my family and all that they're like yo listen you know you, you know you got three youths and you know you got like um you've been doing this all your life you know you can't just stop doing this you gotta keep at it right, so right. definitely bro the motivation and support i get from my family is you know i can't touch it you know like i'm lucky there but bro honestly away from that i don't think about it bro i don't i don't I don't ever let myself slip like that. Like for me, 
I, I'm a musician, I'm an artist, I'm a singer. I love what I'm doing and I like to put out music. But if I think in my mind, I need to hit 58 million views by tomorrow morning, then I'm going to stop. Yeah. And I, I, can't, I can't keep up with these kind of expectations. And if I need to make sure that on my next video shoot, if there's, an, if there's no Lamborghini or something else, then, you know, I need to stop. So as long as I don't give myself reasons to stop, then I'll carry on being creative, you know, and I, and, I, and I can't look at the new generation and I can't look at the new talents that are coming through as a problem for me. Because if I, if I do that, then that creates insecurities, that creates problems in your mind that you don't want to, you don't want to indulge into that negative space. For me, bro, if someone is popping and they're telling me, yo, Mumsy, I like your music, mate, I'll take that with open arms. I'm like, yo, Thick, bro. I won't even say, yo, let's do a track. I'll leave that person in their space. I'm like, yo, yeah, yeah. I'm popping. You're popping. You know them ones? Yeah. But thank you. I'll take that. that for me, I'll carry on. I'll stay in my lane. That, that's how I've been here, bro. Like, I, don't, I told you, I don't really think about it. I just love making music, man. It's important. Bro, it's been like, it's been amazing talking to you. Like, even just the kind of, obviously, I know you, but I, I hope people can see you and your talent and your personality like you know you come across really well really well i appreciate bro. that bro just uh, gotta keep it real bro that's it definitely and it, it's, we don't keep it real we don't, there's no point doing this stuff honestly yeah that make no sense and and before we wrap up is there anything like you know uh any any tours next year that you're gonna have you rescheduled or anything else i know you got the ep coming is there something else yeah. that we can um, at the moment there are like there are like inquiries coming in but it's very difficult unless it's like a safe mail safe made sorry self-made show that labels are doing or people are like putting together it's very difficult to say where we're going to be at the yeah, moment it's um, true. i just think you know the end of the year or january should be a lot more clearer on what where we're, we're going to be what cities and etc so. definitely and we, we we've got the ep coming Exciting. Yeah, yeah. Music coming. Yes. Music's gonna come, man. <laughs> you think Sorry, it's a good music's time? Not gonna stop. Yeah, so you think even though this is whole this whole crazy COVID nineteen is happening, it's still a great time to drop music, yeah? Hundred percent. In fact, it's even a better time to drop music because you gotta understand we don't have day jobs, innit? Like there's no day jobs. We're not we're not doing what a lot of people are doing and struggling through. You gotta understand there's a lot of people who have got normal lives and normal jobs, man, and they're they're, they're, they're getting kicked out of work. There's there's no space for them. So if you're not making music, you're you're silly. Like you need to you need to sort your life out and get in the studio <laughs> or, or right. whatever. If you're not, even if it's not like music, don't matter what you do. Yeah. Get creative. Stop yeah. being lazy. Yeah. Get out of this pandemic and get on with it. Well said, bro. Well said, man. Thank you, man. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Uh, it, honestly, you. Just, it's been amazing just to hear your stories, you know. You've been in the game for a long time. You've, you know, legend status, icon status, no. <laughs> literally. No, I, appreciate, I appreciate the word, but the only time I feel that I can ever be called anything is when I stop. Yeah, so, I mean, you're still doing it I and stop. you're definitely... Until I stop music, yeah. people are going to be, be, be worried, <laughs> mate. Right there, waiting. Definitely. Yeah. But honestly, honestly, uh, thank you so much for being on the show, bro. I really appreciate you, and I can't wait to hear this EP. And I'm expecting a call soon for, you, for me to like, oh, jump bro, on. Ah, come over. <laughs> yeah, none that, none that. Yeah, no, definitely. No long yes, no this. long thing, bro. Let's make it happen. But yeah, thanks again so much, and you know, no I'll, I'll speak to you soon. Definitely, man. Take care. Take Be care, everyone. Let the people hear that voice. Damn. When you hear that name, it was a proud moment for, for the Asian culture. I just looked in the mirror and I accepted myself. Yes! <laughs> Please, I beg you, cut it out. Wait.